Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you the deep flow rifts that have just been added to the game. So these are like Triglavian-esque things that have come into spawn around New Eden. So we're in Nullsec right now. I just eat it in. Um, my buddy Schwing, he gave us a message earlier and just he told us these were like around space and things. I thought they were literally just in the abyss. So cheers dude for that and uh, making this vid possible, I suppose. So basically what you do, you... You've got to scan them down and they come up as combat sites. And then obviously you get the name, the Deep Flow Rift. And basically what this is, is EVE Online's version of fishing. So what we're going to do is find these sites and then we're going to use retractor beams to actually fish for loot. So we're literally just going to click it. And we've got an RNG chance is to get these canisters. And if you notice, there's some like other UI here. So the instability, if you keep an eye on that, if we press F1 or click it, we'll get like a 16% instability. And if that goes to 100%, we'll get our first surge. And what that's going to do is spawn like a load of NPCs. They're all just like little frigates and stuff. I haven't really tested like stage two and three yet. I'm guessing you'll get like bigger, you'll get cruisers and then maybe battle cruisers or something on stage three. I'll confirm that at the end of the vid because we're just going to obviously welt this uh, ship just to confirm that. But yeah, that's all you do. So originally I did just have one uh, tractor beam on me little Helios and that was an absolute mistake. So what we need to do is just click a few, making sure we don't go over the 100%. And you can see it's got a little cooldown as it's going on. So we just need to be super careful. Uh, everything will get like glowy and particly in a minute when a can actually spawns. So let's just go through these nice and gentle and try and get a, a tin. So it is very tedious like with one. Um, I was like complaining about that because I had to click like 20 times to get like the first car and whatnot. But I can see now the ships they want you to use is obviously like multiple uh, tractor beams on and stuff. Which makes sense actually. It's not actually too bad doing it like this. As we're first scanning, see it's getting like really big. Oh, we've got two there. So I'll just show you quickly what you actually get. So you get these deep flow adaptive canisters. So it's sort of like the Triglavian uh, bioadaptive cache, right? Like a similar thing. So what you can do, you can loot this or you can open it. Uh, right now, they're about 30 mil in jitter, but I'm guessing the next hour or two, this will just crash to the bottom where they'll be like worth next to nothing. So sell them when you can, I suppose. But we're going to loot this. And we're going to open it. I've already done one before. So this is the UI you get. Sort of like opening the, the fireworks boxes and things. So you'll always get, by the look of it, so far of what I've tested, uh, some blue loot and some red loot from the, the trig stuff. So that's obviously sleeper things. And there you go. So it's not really that much. I mean, 1.2 mil. That's off two cans as well. So I think well, instead of picking them up, we're just going to try and buzz through this as quick as we can. Without actually making like a ton of NPCs here. And we'll see like the total value we're going to get. I don't think it's going to be much though. Unless there's like some super special like blue loot or red loot or something that drops. There was a couple of different variations of the blue loot I found earlier. One of them was the ancient stuff. Got someone coming in the local here. No doubt looking for these sites. There's another turn. So we're just going to keep an eye out for probes. If probes do actually pop up, I'm just going to surge it all the way through. Okay, so let's just keep going. I think you can do like four or five at a time. Pretty comfortably. It's probably like a set time where you need to be pressing them. So enough we'll do like four at once here, just to test it. Let's let that go back down to zero real quick. There we go, so if we do four. Oh wow, so the instability was still 16 as if we were using just one. Now it's like I didn't even budge there, I wonder if that's a bug. Oh, there, 33 there. That could just be a bad server tick. Hmm. Let's try to activate the all of them at the same time. Oh, that might be the trick here then. But 
but you can see we're not getting a lot of cans, man. That's uh, the chance must be super low. Although maybe activating them all at once doesn't work, as we think it does. So what, like what eight minutes left? Maybe having the high instability actually spawns the cans. Yeah, sure. Might be learning as we go here. So as soon as we're down to like 60, we can activate another one. <gasps> I've surged it too much there. As soon as I can. I'm just going to go through. Oh, there's we, there's we scan. So let's loot all this. In fact, I'm not even going to loot it. I'm just going to surge it. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens when it surges. There's the first one. I think we'll probably die by the time that happens. We'll get stage two. Alright, so it's just literally more NPCs come. Lol. Alright, I wouldn't mind taking a bigger... I mean, the Smart Bomb Proyas would be perfect for that, guys, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be pretty insane. Alright, so hopefully Mike doesn't die to these. Sorry, dude, if you're watching. But yeah, that's uh, the general gist of it. I mean, I think having a couple of friends with you would be, like, really ideal for this. Maybe one combat ship, because I think... I wonder if those guys drop loot as well, if you... I'm not going to bother testing it, like, but if you, if you can confirm if they drop loot or not in the comments, that would be really awesome. I'll pin it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.